Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 6 to the power of x is equal to 12. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I have log 6 to the power of x is equal to log 12. Now, an important property of logarithms is that, let's say I have log a to the power of b. I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this is going to be equal to b times log a. So now for log 6 to the power of x is equal to log 12. For log 6 to the power of x, we can think of a as 6 and b as x. So if we want to change it into the form b to the power of log, or sorry, b times log a, I'm going to move this exponent x to the front of the logarithm. So now this will be equal to x times log 6 is equal to log 12. Now I can divide both sides by log 6. So then these two cancel out, and I would have x is equal to log 12 over log 6. Now, log 12, this is the same thing as log 6 times 2. And for logarithms, an important property of these is that if we have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. And the same obviously applies vice versa. So for x is equal to log 6 times 2, log 6 times 2 would be equal to log 6 plus log 2. And we're dividing this by log 6. So now we can rewrite this as log 6, oops, sorry, over log 6 plus log 2 over log 6. So for log 6 over log 6, those two cancel out, so that equal 1 plus log 2 over log 6. Now, log 6, I can rewrite as log 2 times 3. And remember, if we have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So that we have x plus 1 plus log 2 over log 2 times 3. This would equal log 2 plus log 3. So I have log 2 plus log 3. Now, the value of log 2, if you plug this into a calculator, it is approximately 0 0.301. And the value of log 3, if you plug into a calculator, it is approximately 0 0.4771. So log, we have x equals 1 plus log 2, which is 0 0.301, over log 2 plus log 3. So 0 0.301 plus plus 0 0.4771. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 0 0.301 over 0 0.301 plus 0 0.4771 is 0 0.7781. Now 0 0.301 over 0 0.7781 is 0 0.3868. 
And finally, 1 plus 0 0.3868 is 1.3868. So this is our answer. So we have 9 to the power of x is equal to 18. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 9 to the power of x is equal to log 18. Now, an important property of logarithms is that, let's say we have something in the form log a to the power of b. We can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this is going to actually equal b times log a. So I'm going to use this property on log 9 to the power of x. So we can think of 9 as a and x as b. So I'm going to move our x here to the front of the logarithm. So this is going to equal x times log a. So now I have x times log a is equal to, sorry, it's not a, it's 9. So I have x times log 9 is equal to log 18. Now we want to isolate x, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and divide log 9 on both sides. So now I have x is equal to, because these two cancel out, log 18 over log 9. Now, 18 is equal to 9 times 2. So I'm going to rewrite log 18 as log 9 times 2. And now we're dividing this by log 9. So now, if I, have, if I have a logarithm in the form log a times b, this is actually equal to log a plus log b. Because remember, if you guys already didn't know, when you're adding logarithms, you're technically just multiplying the two numbers in front of the logarithms. So now log 9 times 2, this is going to equal log 9 plus log 2. So now I have log 9 plus log 2 divided by log 9. And now this is the same thing as log 9 over log 9 plus log 2 over log 9. All I simply did was I divided this into two parts. Because remember, if you add these again, you'll simply get log 9 plus log 2 over log 9. So now, log 9 to over log 9, these two would cancel out. So this is the same thing as 1. So I have 1 plus log 2 over log 9. Now, log 9, well, 9 is the same thing as 3 squared. So now if I replace 3 squared for 9, I get x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log 3 squared. Now remember, property of logarithms, that states that if we have something in the form log a to the power of b, we can move our exponent b to the front of the logarithm, so this would equal b times log a. So log 3 squared. <laughs>
15 to the power of 25 plus 25. So we wrote 50 as 25 plus 25 over 3 to the power of 25. And the reason I did this is because now I can use the property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 15 to the power of 25 plus 25 is going to equal 15 to the power of 25 times 15 to the power of 25. And I have this over 3 to the power of 25. And now this is equal to 15 to the power of 25 times 15 to the power of 25 over 3 to the power of 25, which is equal to 15 to the power of 25 times 15 over 3 to the power of 25. And this is equal to 15 to the power of 25 times 5 to the power of 25. Now, another property of exponents is that if I have something from a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So this is going to equal 15 times 5 to the power of 25, which is equal to 75 to the power of 25. So this is my answer.